what what you think about this? I think it's really cool, but I can't give you anything for it because it's not silver. You can't give me anything for it. Mm -mm -mm. No. What do you mean you can't give me nothing for this? What's up, people? Welcome back and get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of awkward moments on hardcore pawn. Number one, partner Robert. A guy walks in wanting to pawn something or wait. It took me a second. He's not the one that wants to pawn his item. It's his friend Robert. But where is that friend? I literally see no one. What what you think about this? I think it's really cool, but I can't give you anything for it because it's not silver. You can't give me anything for it. Mm -mm -mm. Robert, Robert, tell him, tell him, Robert, tell him. It was a stainless steel bracelet that we don't sell here for $10. There was no way. Tell Leslie Robert, tell Les, what are you waiting for? Speak your truth. Come on, I can't hear you because guess what? You simply do not exist. God, I hate that shit. Who is Steve? Who is Steve? Steve's my buddy. Robert, meet Steve. Steve, Robert. Steve. I wanted to get this guy out of here without causing a scene. I had Hook pretend to be the owner to try to have him follow Hook outside. And that's how you use reverse psychology, y'all. Les really played both this guy and Robert into believing Les also has an invisible friend called Steve, but they are about to meet the boss. You know what? F*** y'all! And you know what? Have a nice mother f day! Then he leaves. Robert is stuck in the store. Come on, Robert, let's go. Be careful, Robert's here. Sorry, Robert. Here you go. This. I'm this not coming right. back no more All to right, your damn thank you. store. Uh, Robert, I don't be even cool. Know why act like this. Good thing Robert was not forgotten, and Les reminded this guy of Robert's existence. What a bad friend, honestly. I expected him to get out with Robert, but he's such a disappointment. Number two, PlayStation. A man walks in looking to buy a PlayStation 3, but he has a very limited budget. Furthermore, it appears that he disapproves of the way things are going. What then are our current options? How you doing? All right, how you doing? Good. How much are your PlayStation 3s? How much you want to spend? Uh, I got 70 bucks. Can't let any go for 70, my man, unfortunately. Um, they're just a really hot commodity right now, and I can't keep them in stock. Looks they're like you got a bunch of stock here. Yeah, I just took them out this morning. This is bull****. Okay, I'm sobbing now because I'm laughing so much. The way Byron pops out of nowhere when he hears someone screaming and shouting. What you gonna do? Oh, no. I ain't been shot already, walk. Ain't nothing here, you're just another door guy to me. Yeah. Wow, he's messing with the wrong person for sure. I mean, did he literally just say that to Byron? Byron, he's about to regret this decision shortly. I ain't, whoa, oh, you, you don't have, have it. it. You don't have any cash, get out of here. Sounds like a ride, big boy. Big boy. Bad, ride, boy. big boy. Here we go, big boy. Here we go, here we go. Have a good day. Have a good day. What you want to do? You think I'm about what you want to do? I come down this my level, beat your ass down here. What? You got a full 12 pack, six pack, and a couple empties in there, buddy. He's as huge as it gets. Please don't make him any bigger. One of my concerns, though, is how a guy this size can drop and stand back up this easily. I'm amazed. God bless his soul. Number three, correcting mother. A guy and his mother walk into the store wanting to sell some speakers, but the guy referred to them as a single speaker. So that's a good start, isn't it? Anyways, let's check this out. Yeah. You got multiple speakers. It's even better here. Yeah. Our apartment building called. And we $150 short, so I'm hoping you guys could help us out. So you need 150 bucks. Yes. Realistically, I could sell you them for about 100 bucks. Hell no, nah, man. Well, that's your choice. You don't have to take it. Damn. Seth was pretty much straight with that shit. He was honest and blunt about it, but this guy doesn't seem to like whatever is going on, and I'm with him on this one. And so I can get you 45 bucks. Nah, f that. No, I don't want to okay. okay. What I tell you about your mouth? I don't need from these mother well, They won't give me what I want. You came in, you want 150 no. bucks. Damn. What? I'm taking my speaker. What? what? For these people to see you get your I can't take you nowhere. This mother is not playing around at all. He badmouthed Seth, and his mother was ready to freaking get it all in the open to teach him a lesson in front of people. <laughs> what do I pay you guys for? I'm hiring her. Get in the car. Okay. Seth, I yes. am so sorry. No, that's fine. I apologize. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Handling. My scary staff, stop. This woman is honestly like no other, and I love her for that. She literally came back and apologized for the way her son handled things. My respect for her just went up. Number four, stupid friend. The woman goes straight to the window to return her TV, but she has no identity at all or a ticket, so she's there to cause issues, which is already problematic. You're not in our system at all. Can you check again? CG. Damn, how long is she gonna take? She said I ain't in the system. We have no Gabrielle Adams at all. What type of business is this and you can't find me in the system? You're not in here. Let's go get the supervisor. Right, you're gonna have to go get the supervisor. I, 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 I can get a supervisor. 
either, but you're not gonna be in here regardless. It was just an attempt to persuade her to make a big deal out of nothing, not actually her buddy. When the female was looking at you both regularly, how specifically are you arguing? Maybe they made a mistake. Maybe their stuff is in some other pawn shop, because it definitely isn't an American Jewelry and Loan. Are you back there? Let me, I can resolve this. This looks like two teams fighting for their lives, but it's also a 1v1. You can see the woman in the back fighting with the girl in layaway, but the one in the front with less. I'm loving it. Don't come into my store disrespecting my employees. You got me twisted. Eat that doodle. -doo. Need it to throw your ass out. They gonna fire me and my I know I will be coming back to this piece of I understand. So, you're not coming back at all? This is making me feel so angry that I'm at a loss for words. Thank God you're not still here because you're too much, honey. Number 5. Trumpet Sale A couple walks in wanting to sell a trumpet he has for his student loans, but his girlfriend intervened and was like, why don't you buy me something instead? Just check it out. A uh, ring! For a ring? Planning on getting married? Are you married? I don't think he is, but I would like to. <laughs> she said she wanted the money to get a ring. So instantly a light went off and I needed to take her to the jewelry department. Yeah. I can make it so smaller. This is really pretty. I like it a lot. So this is 50. If you put it in layaway or if you just want to buy it out. Ashley was just very much ready to make a sale on this ring. She jumped right into it and seriously took them to the jewelry department so they could pick out a ring. That's business. Truthfully, at a used place here, we don't get $100 for these. And what we could do, actually being able to kill two birds with one stone, I can either give you $40 for this, or I can give you the ring and $20. Okay. Everyone's anticipating the guy's response. And when I say everyone, I mean me too. Cause like, this could change his entire freaking life, so good luck with that. See? woke up today and you don't expect certain things. She has to know what you're doing. All right, well, I guess this can be our promise ring that I'll be with you forever, so. Aww. Oh, he's got the chills. <laughs> I got 20 bucks and she got her ring, so I guess we're both happy. You realize that pretty much the rest of your life is, is over, right? Yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> Yep, took the words right out of my mouth, literally. But Rich was not having it at all. I mean, he actually was scared shit for this guy. What a way to put it, Rich. Number six, fake bracelet. A woman walks in wanting to pawn her bracelet to pay her rent. Apparently, this chain was gifted to her by her one and only baby daddy, and he would be mad if he found out. So let me tell you about the old days when I was young. In the 70s, I used to make chain vests, chain belts. These are actually curtain tiebacks. What are you telling me? You know this isn't real. What do you mean? It's not real. Well, it's it's a real bracelet, but it's not real gold. But he's My bracelet sure. is not fake. She has that attitude and confidence in her man, but all will shortly fall downhill, baby, because this shit is as fake as it gets. Good luck. Maybe he'll tell you the I truth. I know my baby ain't buy me no That's paper. fine. Hello. Is your ring real? Baby. I'm gonna be getting the uh, bracelet appraised, the bracelet that you gave. I, and they're trying to tell me that it's fake. He said this bracelet cost $500. It was what more are 500. you talking about? This ain't love, babe. You said you was gonna marry me one day. Ope, ope. My guy really screwed up everyone. Saying that, then buying her the fakest bracelet to ever exist? Yeah, that's not gonna happen, my guy. Not gonna happen. Okay. Have a very nice day. Thank you. Man, f this sh what the f is you talking about? Have a nice day, y'all. Okay. I know my baby ain't give me no fake gold. I'm about to take it to a real jewelry store that knows something. That's what I'm gonna do. You go get the green for some gold boo. Oh, wait. It's not even gold. Why bother to be embarrassed again just for the whole reason of selling what cannot be sold? Number seven, jewelry sale. A woman requests to pawn some jewels, but when she discovers where in the world the stuff came from, she becomes quite surprised. I don't know how you could be that ignorant. You got like some pliers or something? Pliers? Yeah, I need to get this off. You know what, that's all right, I got it. So I was wondering if I could pawn this. I was trying to get like $100 for it. Before we really get started, it's clear that this woman has a few cells missing from her large skull. Is she really interested in taking this on? I wouldn't purchase it. No, actually, it's real silver. I'm trying to get $100 for this. I mean, if you're gonna give it to me or what? Or can I talk to somebody else? No, you can talk to me. I don't wanna talk to you, cause now you starting to act like a real bitch. Cause I see you trying to be funny. I'm not laughing. Are you laughing? You were just laughing. Now you're making an ugly face. It ain't, it ain't Halloween no more. You're absolutely correct when you point out that it's not Halloween. But why the heck do you appear as weird and foolish as you actually do? There, that is an eerie clown face. So... You're pissing me off. You this close to getting your ass whooped. Really? Yeah. You're this close don't to getting don't, your don't touch ass me. kicked don't touch out of my me. store. Don't touch me. You ain't gotta touch me. You ain't gotta touch me. The hair got that Ebola too, on. That's that Ebola weave, ain't it? 
Don't worry about it. God forbid. No one would just accept it and sell it right away, even if your lips were flawless. It's disgusting, but frightening Ashley, you've learned your lesson. Number 8. Rockstar Pawn This man enters believing he is the most well-known rockstar in history. He may be the next Michael Jackson at this point. However, he wants to pawn his earrings. Examine it. Check that out for me. Sure. You know who I am, right? Uh, no. Who are you? Don't, you? you don't know who I am. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> Do you know who this is? <laughs> it's your neighbor, isn't it? Prince, absolutely. <laughs> oh, it reminds me of the, the bird up there. You know what? Look Thanks. at this service that I'm getting. The guy just got a serious headache from Bobby J. He told him straight out that he sounded like an absolute bird. That's some crazy ass nonsense, but even so, I agree. Are your pants see-through? Yes, my pants are see-through. Were you looking down there? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and you're watching it. No. I need about a thousand. Thousand. I'm just asking for a thousand just to get my limo. No. That's not real. You're going to help me out. Excuse me? Imitation prints, imitation earring. Is that right? That's right. The earring's not real. I bet your wife didn't say that last night. This dude completely transformed. This man is shape-shifted. I really am afraid of this man. Suddenly, he's bellowing. Another is insanely angry. Dumb bass. Oh, yeah. that, now, now you're just now it makes sense. being a I am being a Yeah, well, because you, you know. brought in a fake earring. It's our fault. You are done. You all have a good day. Take care, bud. Purple rain right out the door. Oh. Here we not done. Oh, he's about to do something. He's about to do something. Ah, oh, that's not OK. See you later, baby. What an assertion. Haha. Ha. What a bird comment. This man simply turned around, gave a performance, shouted or sang, and left, as if he had insulted our decency. Number nine, pawning boob. This woman walked into the room and tried to pawn her jewels. But the diamonds in this ring seem to have a distinct brand. Travaski. Sounds pricey. Travaski? Yes, Travaski. Uh, my grandmother gave me that ring before she passed away, and she told me that they were Travaski crystal. I don't know what that, what that brand is. So if they were, they won't be selling anything fake. I truly enjoy how, rather than carrying on the conversation, Seth told her that this was all untrue and ignored whatever the hell she was making up, given that it is. So you give me some money for my crystals? Do you not understand English? Do you not understand English? I understand English. Do you English. not understand the word Trubosky crystals? No, I don't. And I just told you that my grandmother said that these are Trubosky crystals. They have something that's real. Really? These right here. These. They're real. They're real. Can I get some money for those? How in the hell did you even get out that boob? Who said this shit was even desirable? Actually, we want nothing to do with that shit. I'm just a victim here. And all this ugly bone popping to my face, man, just my sprossing to my eyes. So how would you like to pawn them? You're going to give me something before I... <laughs> if, you, if you're making me choose, I'll take the ring. Oh, yeah. it's fake yeah. right. You don't it's know no crystals when you fake. see a mother... I would say and do the exact same thing. I mean, was this girl actually putting on her breasts in the hopes of attracting Seth? It's just a huge amount of flesh. Number 10. Royal Treatment This English woman walks into the room thinking she's the Queen of England. No question about it. Please assure her that this won't occur once again. Please have a look at this. Okay, Ashley lady, how much? 400. Come on. I've come into your store to buy a coat. I ain't come in this store for you to rip me off. That one fits you really nice. That's a fax. How much for the coat? Do you not understand? Do you not understand? No, it doesn't appear like she comprehends at all. It appears that this woman truly believes that she is the center of the universe. Universe. Yes, it doesn't. And the coat has 400 shades. My exchange rate is absolutely incredibly high. Sorry about that. A British lady here, you know. How much for the coat? I can go 350 for you today if that will help you out. Shove it. Get rid of it? Overcome it? Surely they'll shove her into the parking lot. Regretfully, I think that she undoubtedly suffers from some form of cognitive impairment because of her senior age. Sure we're not looking at this big guy, we're looking at you. You're gonna make me? I don't day. think so. Have a good day, miss. Have a good day. Yeah. I'm not interested in your $200. Goodbye, lady! Goodbye, lady! There you go, that's the royal treatment. Well done, Byron. She should definitely welcome the queen. But even if she could truly travel the world looking like one, she wouldn't do it. That is the essence of the craving for power. Number 11, Crazy Mom. It is a woman's birthday today, so she walks in with her son to get a ring for herself. However, her kid, who is really stirring some crap, arrived with her and some fire. Hi, my name's Sharonda. Sharonda, nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. How you doing, Deontay? Deontay, nice to meet you. That's my son. Oh, yeah, excellent. Yeah. It's my birthday. I'm yeah, looking for birthday. me a gift. 500. That's a lot. That wouldn't even cost that much at a jewelry, regular jewelry store. Well, that's okay. I like it. No, we're not a regular jewelry store. It's actually cheaper than you'd get it anywhere else. Shut up. Let me see this piece. Nice response, mother. Well, I get that this is counsel of some sort because this is his mother and all, but it's not the proper way to express it, my fellow. Just see what happens after that. How much is this one? 800. 800? 
Listen, you need to shut up before I knock you the for real. Stop it. But still. But you're not, you know, you're not the buyer's for birthday, right? right? It's my birthday. Still, it's my she money. don't need to be spending that much money in a pawn shop, dude. But wait, so you spent 500 on those earrings? Yeah. They're CZs. <laughs> Bull Watch your mouth. Oop. It appears that the mother is over her son's bad behavior. She's correct, really. So please just let her alone once. Indeed, these earrings appear to be fake. She is at least purchasing actual goods. That's bull. You don't talk to me like that. All right, dude. I'm your mama. You don't talk to me like that. I don't give a whatever. You, you talking to? And the girl can throw a fast pitch. I will knock you smooth the out. You don't talk to me like that. This woman was giving her kid a serious whooping. As though it were a game she had always played, she threw her flip-flops right up in that boy's face. I'm proud of her for defending herself. Number 12. Shouting contest. Approaching the glass, a lady says she wants to get in immediately and says she misplaced her ticket or left it there. I don't see you in the system. There is no one in my system with this address. How are you going to tell me when I left my ticket on the counter? I came here and I pawned the TV. It's not I can here. only tell you what it says in this computer system. Man, listen to me. I've seen the scam before. It never works. Did she know why she'd started to scream? Seth, you truly must address that fraud right now if you have already seen it, or else it will come back to hit you in the ass. No, no I, I was no, in another keyboard. No, Maybe not I here. Was work. That's Look it. at your computer and see what the my ticket is. Or call somebody else over to the window. Somebody else coming to the window. Call them louder. Don't think. Call them louder with your little bitty ass. Oh. I want my ticket. But wait a minute, only a few seconds ago, wasn't she acting like a gorilla? It was such a deft move as if she was going to taste this handsome man. You ain't gotta touch me. If you want all this, it's all Girl, you gotta do. come on now, go ahead. Okay, all right, here it's you go. all you gotta do. Come on. <laughs> I came here for a ticket. Wow. But you want my number and all that, right? That's what you want? You want all that? Huh? Whatever. Oh. Hey, baby girl. You twerk good. What the hell, really? She's already getting lustful at the sight of old Byron and is beginning to show interest in him, but I really can't hold it against her. All right, go on. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing all right. Good. I bought this two days ago here, uh -huh. and this thing broke down. Do you have your receipt? No, I don't. You have to have a receipt. If you have your receipt, I can take care of you. But I know I bought it off of you. Here's this guy telling me that I sold him this snowblower two days ago. Two days ago? was my day off. What's up, people? Welcome back, and get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of desperate people on hardcore pawn. Number one, 35. A woman walks in wanting to buy a TV for $35. I mean, there literally is $35 TVs, but now the ones she was aiming for, so let's check this shit out. That's taking all day. I got Where it. Let me go with my TV. I'm right here. What's that? $35 TV. No, no, no. Yeah? Oh, I want one of these TVs. Right. Sound right there, $35 for a TV, and it's what? Near what? It says 19 the flash screen. I want that right there. I'm not taking it home. Let's unhook this one right here. She wants to buy a $100 TV for $35? Damn, this woman is hella insane, not gonna lie. Excuse you. No, excuse you. No, excuse you. I need my TV. You no, want this TV? It's 35 want I want this one. Do you want this one? So this for one's $35. $100. i am not trying to hear what the you trying to say. I want one of these flat screen TVs. Perfect, 100 bucks. No, this is false advertising. I need to take the down. Did anyone notice that she actually was going to grab a $100 TV and take it with her while she has a payment of 35 Yeah, this never happens as long as you're bullshitting. Oh, come and get a TV? Let me take that whole ass sand down, fake advertising, but out. Keep walking. No. Stop. We're not stopping. Just get your hands off of me. Just keep walking. Kiss my ass. It's big, too, ain't it? I think she was DWI. Big fat ass for you to kiss. Have a nice day. Don't worry, honey. We all can see that huge ass of yours, but I don't think anyone would actually want it. Because to be honest, it's full of fat and shit. So bye-bye. Number two, snowblower. A guy walks in wanting to return or get a refund for something he bought two days prior to the second he walked in. But this is not true, and you'll know why shortly. Okay. I'm doing all right. Good. I bought this two days ago here, uh -huh. and this thing broke down on me. Do you have your receipt? No, I don't. You have to have a receipt. If you have your receipt, I can take care of you. But I know I bought it off of you. Here's this guy telling me that I sold him this snowblower two days ago. Two days ago was my day off. And oop, this guy was caught in a lie. Laugh my freaking ass off. I have no clue how he will be recovering from that mistake, but good luck. I got contracts for him. Mm -hmm. For him and I'm behind on my work cause this junky snowblower broke down on me. Okay, show and me. And I your... paid good money for How it. How much did you pay? 150 I paid for it. Okay, show me the receipt. Why in the f 
Can't you give me another snow blow? I could, if you had your receipt. Why isn't this guy actually understanding all that shit? I mean, he literally just freaking walks in wanting a refund without a freaking receipt. That will only happen in his dreams. A snow blower. You got one? No. What I is want that? a new one. Tell me what that's called. This is called a snow blower. There you go. So now you got one. So why don't you escort this gentleman? Don't f touch don't me. Don't touch him. Well, I'm unhappy. Yeah, well, what else is new? Good luck plowing snow today. Did he actually just leave this snowblower here? Wow, it just shows you how desperate people can be. What the hell is wrong with these people nowadays? Thank God he's out. Number three, ad tattoo. The most bizarre request ever put forward. A store logo tattoo for money on someone's body. To be honest, it is extremely intelligent, but gosh. Holy moly. I got a whole bunch of free space oh. right here. Would you include our website? I put your website on there. I love American Jewelry, but you don't see me going out and getting a tattoo of this place on my stomach. How much money did you want? Well, I'm looking in the range for about thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Yes. Two hundred bucks. Um, cease, cease, cease. In reality, Leslie is aiming for that shot. That person would never purchase a human billboard. Astute? Sure. Inept? Yes. Also. If I can make a deal with this guy, he's gonna have a new tattoo. Wait, you wear a shirt, so you'd be covering it up. No, I wouldn't be covering it up. I'd walk around with my shirt off if I had to. The guy's gonna have to wake up tomorrow with a big American Julian Loden logo on his stomach. I think you really need to think it out. It's already been thought out. Yeah. I really don't give a damn what my kids say. I wanna make the deal. I'm making the deal. Leslie has a lot riding on that thing. His goal is to close the deal. However, Seth isn't really committed to this one at all. Just have fun, dude, and sell this tattoo to the guy. I'm sticking around five. Four, I'll, I'll take it. 250. Can't do it. Sorry. Sorry about it. Yes, sir. For 250 bucks, I could have had 50 or 60 years of advertising. I don't know what it would look like on an 80-year-old guy, but you know what? The wow factor would have definitely brought us business. Right now, I'm giving thanks to God. It was not the right thing for this man to do in the first place. Simply come, sell a few random items in the store, and earn some cash. Number four, no bathrooms. After her divorce, this woman enters the store to pawn her wedding band, but she has been waiting a long time. She has to go to the restroom. So I can't end up paying on my wedding ring, so I want to lose it. You know, I've been waiting a lot for 45 minutes. This is terrible. Do y'all have a restroom? I have to use it. No, ma'am. You don't have a restroom? No, ma'am. Excuse me, sir. So you have to use the bathroom? Yeah, unfortunately, I can't allow you to use the bathroom. We don't have a public bathroom because it's a safety issue. You know, who knows what's going to go on behind those closed doors? We don't have cameras, and so we just don't have customers go in the back. Yes, I do respect that policy. Some individuals may be acting irrationally, smoking marijuana, or doing everything else they can to get in there and get all worked up on each other. Definitely a bad idea. How much do you use the loan facility? Yes! All right, so 3% is what I charge, right? That's because it's policy. I can charge you 5% if you'd like. What's that got to do with it? Well, because we're talking about policy. Because we're talking about policy. So we're talking about it. You ain't going to like that. Come on, that's 3%. You give me 3%. What the hell at me? Is this place home to the We Want a Bathroom gang? What was the origin of this woman? This was comparable. Search it up if you do not know what that means. So I gotta go out in the parking lot and pop a squat? Well, if you do, that's, you know... That's what? I don't think that's legal. Then understand it. So she was getting all irate. And I'm like, sorry, there's nothing I can do. I can't explain this a right. hundred times. No. Thank you. Bye. No, I'm not. I'm going to the bathroom. You're at least using the restroom now. You're lucky. Huh? How could one anticipate a pawn shop? The store has a lot of cash and a lot of unowned items. Daring. Number five, remote car. Enter a mute man who attempts to sell you a remote control automobile. To be honest, I thought this guy was very strange. Just answer him, please. How are you? Fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm Les. How you doing, Les? Good. Perfect. Okay, what you got? I have a gas-powered car here. Yeah. It has a real engine in it that really runs. I could try to start it right in here. All right, we'll take it outside. You want to take it outside? Here comes a guy with a 15 year old little racing car. It was pretty cool. Problem was, couldn't get it started. To be honest, the guy seemed to have no idea what he brought in with him or how to sell it, so I'm not really shocked that this didn't get started. It's like a starting a lawnmower. You know, my lawnmower start immediately. <laughs> yeah. Started stay by... here till six. <laughs> yeah, I want you to start sweating. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, oh. would you like me to pull it for you? Like me in the morning, you know, it takes a few. <laughs> <laughs> this sounded rather disgusting, or am I the only one that thinks that way? Less, go ahead and assist. I mean, at this point, we can never really tell what's going to happen. You like that, don't you? Okay, I'm gonna go try to make a living. <laughs> so if you get it started, come and get me and I'll, we'll talk about this. How's that sound?
This guy never seems to respond, does he? I could never fit into his shoes. Not because I was embarrassed. I couldn't care less about that. But because my back would have hurt like a bitch. Number 6. Beep Star. I have never seen something as strange as this in my whole life. To be honest, I initially believed he was an actor. As it happens, he's an expert in something that some of you would find interesting. How you doing? Fine, how are you? I'm okay. I've got a lot of vintage stag movies from the 70s. How many movies do you have? Yeah. Probably 300. 300. 300 here Not or? But I just brought a few samples. Yeah, I'm You're even in that? some of those. Like you serious? are? Yeah. What's your name? Bones Daly. This guy. Oh. Indeed, very little is known about this individual. I can't exactly put my finger on it yet, but I have a feeling that this man is up to something with these films. I remember you. Sorry. Yeah, I, it was a short-lived career. What were you specializing in in the, in oh, the movies? I my oh. Wow. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, wow, that's really exciting. First of all, sickening. Next of all, sickening. Wow. <laughs> Less. I wanted to let you know that even though it's incredibly intimidating, you could find it useful if you give it a try. Check me out, for example. Take any person as an example, really. You can run this in theater. Well, I mean, if you had like Gone with the Wind or something like that, you know, if you had that kind of stuff in 16 millimeter, that would probably be, be better more off. something that we would look for. Yep. Thanks, Bob. Well, we appreciate you bringing it in. Bone, <laughs> we appreciate it. Gentlemen, what did he expect us to do? We're a pawn shop, and this guy's bringing in porn. We don't pawn porn. All right, where's the hand sanitizer? To be quite honest, pawn sounds a lot like porn. My mind went to places that some of you would dream are reachable when I first heard this term. Number seven, fake teeth. This woman thinks she owns the TV in the front, which is why she she is so upset. All right, honey, let's focus on this. This is not your own. You security? I don't give a Why my out here on the floor? It's supposed to be in the back. What brand is your TV? That right there. Uh, Hit here, it. take it. Yeah, see him. If it's in pawn, it's in the back. If it's for sale, it's in the front. Why is my out here on the floor? Why is it a different brand? Because it's a different brand. Hold on, let me get this straight. She pulls out her teeth. A whole heck. For the sake of God, these teeth sprang from nowhere. I'm really pissed off. Go after me, old hag. Put Tell your me. teeth back in. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Oh, my God. This woman was out of her mind. Go to the window, give your pawn ticket. I'll be more than happy to bring out your merchandise. The manner she inserted them is even more disgusting. That crap was what ultimately broke me. Whoa, that woman is very, really bad. Come on, Rodney, get her. Rodney, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Thank you very much, and have a blessed day. Welcome, get my. There we go. Where's that coming? Okay, thank y'all very much. May the birds of paradise fly up, you know. And that's that. On this one, she really let her imagination go. Ima tells her that the birds of paradise are a good source of fresh teeth, since you're in this place in need of some. Number eight, aspiring singer. Simply walking into the store, a wannabe singer puts an unknown microphone into an unknown radio and starts barking like a horse. Hey, y'all, I'm an aspiring singer. I'm trying to make it to the top. One day, one day. Excuse me, sir. Why are you cutting my volume off? We can hear you. <laughs> Not only that, but the only place you could work as a singer is the zoo, where I highly doubt you'll succeed since I envision you getting attacked by a variety of animals. Are you interested in purchasing it? How much? For you, 80 bucks. I want to sing a song. Uh, uh, I'm going to be a star. You're going to be something, all right. And I ain't even going to give you a shout out. No. Are you interested in buying this? No, I'm not. I need some money. Good, show's over. Here's a tip, stop singing. Is she really waiting for a gratuity? You are in a real store, girl. A business that is purely focused on selling stuff. And this entire thing is taking place on a stinking private property. What's she doing? I'm gonna still sing my song. Hater, 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 hater. Hater, hater, hater. You a hater. Please, please. Come back here, won't to. I think this woman appears to be high on cocaine. It seems incomprehensible that someone would commit such horrible acts in public just to look silly and unattractive. Number 9. Chinchilla Scandal A lady enters with the intention of creating a significant issue. Ashley is charged with deceiving the woman by posing as a vendor, offering her a scarf made of rabbits rather than chinchillas. And you sold me a rabbit. A bunny. I sold you a rabbit. This is like chinchilla to you. How much did you spend? Do you remember that? I know I spent the grip. Grip. What's a grip? What's a grip? Grip is a lot of cash, a lot of money. Okay. 
sorry, Ash, but that was purely racist, not gonna lie. Not knowing what a grip is, is one thing, but asking Byron what it means is literally another. Disappointed. How do you know it's rabbit? Because my girl told me it was rabbit. I took it home. She it... threw it back at me and told me, this ain't chinchilla, this is rabbit. I didn't sell you this. You sold no. me this. Do you have your receipt? I don't have a receipt. It's in your ass. The receipt's in my ass? It's in your ass. That was really arbitrary right now. Is it currently in Ashley's ass? Ashley is going to drag everything out and stuff it up your ass where the light doesn't shine. It's time to go, sweetheart. All right, you can take that home if you want to. But I want my money, that's all. Have a good day. Where in that old ass That was a good shot right there. You play basketball? Have a good day. You too. Man, I spent good money up in this bitch. Why you so violent, girl? Go on up out of here. Now you're gonna leave it? And that's precisely how you can tell that she wasn't genuinely giving this one much thought. She also didn't think it was from here, because she never would have left it if she had done both. Number 10. Counterfeit ticket. Two women walk into the store, straight up to the window, and give Nikki a ticket, and they want back a ring or something. To be honest, I have no clue. What the f you looking at it all stupid, fuck bitch? You can read? You wanna say something? Ticket is a counterfeit ticket. No, bitch, I want none of this I'm shit, a bitch. I'm a mother ring or nine mother thousand dollars, bitch. I'll go get less to go get. It. I will piss ass. I don't give a These two women are actually getting on my nerves way too much. Freaking treat Nikki like the human being she actually is, for God's sake. I drove all the way home to get that ticket. Uh huh. Okay. I need to make sure it's here then. It's not our ticket. What you mean it ain't your ticket? It say American jewelry. And it may say that. So, no, what the is the issue? The issue is this is a counterfeit ticket. Now, this accept the truth, honey. Just accept it and do your walk of shame because, again, this is a counterfeit ticket. Repeat it with me, common counterfeit ticket. Bet you y'all gonna pay me for this $10,000 ring. Of course we are. I will be back with my attorney. And I'll be more than happy to explain it to them. Y'all full of You picked the wrong place to f with the wrong pawnbroker. When they come back with their lawyer, I'll be happy to show them exactly how I know it's a bull ticket. Back with the attorney? I see you. I see you. If you can afford an attorney, then why the hell are you sad on such a ticket? For God's sake, just get on with your life. Number 11. Flip split. This dude walks in acting all goofy, like the boss baby he is. Wait, this might be his stripper name. But watch him put on a show never seen before on Hardcore Pawn. I have a question. I just saw you walk up doing this thing. Can you do that again? What? This? Try it. I, try this. Say I'm a uh, vulgar. Uh, you're a what? what? I vogue, whatever like that, and I'm about to go to international. I never knew a guy could do that. It's like, ew, ow, doesn't that hurt? Dude, voguing needs a lot, a lot of strength. I actually applaud him for this talent, but looks like Bobby J is weirded out, and Ashley is appreciating the guy. $500 isn't going to happen. It will. This isn't real. It is real. It's a real earring, that's, but it's not a real, real. stone. OK, y'all going to have to go back there and get my Gucci Gucci $500. You got a manager or something, girl, Me. that I could? Oh, you the manager? Yeah. Oh, work sickening. You sickening now, girl. Work out. First of all, asking for $500 is way too much. I mean, I'm guessing he added the small little show fee. Second of all, disrespect Ashley like that? Oh, hell nah. All right. Here. Give it to me in my hand, girl. Thank you. 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 I thought it was great at what he did. Stop me. Stop me. Well, I'm not paying you for your talent. I'm paying you for your earring. Vogue it out. I look better than you anyway. Okay. I look better than you anyway. Now these moves are very impressive for sure. I would pay him $500 to do all that privately. I mean like privately meaning in a real show. Anyways, good thing he's out. Number 12, tough customer. A girl walks up to the window wanting to pawn a necklace, but turns out she doesn't like waiting at all. I mean, it's been seconds. Come on, what is she doing? Now she taking on my face. Not for real, because you know we got to be at work in a minute. Excuse me. What? Come on now, boo, what you doing? Why are we pounding? Um, I just gave him my necklace. Okay, so she's going to test it, right? How much did you want? 1500 200 How much? 200 200 Now we know why her man is rushing her that much. Turns out, he did not want her to know this necklace's value. This man is hiding some shit. He said he paid $5,000 for the necklace. That's a lot of money for this piece. Uh, I didn't think it was worth that. So you telling me I only can get $200? Uh, I can go 250 if that would help you out. I need $1,500. No, can't take no 250 man. I can't give you the amount of what you paid for it. Dog, get the f out of my face. 
face because you want that <laughs> anyway. Just no. gone. So you talking about two fifty? That's all you could do. Do you have any other jewelry on you? Uh, -uh. I can go two fifty for you. I can't. We can't that, man. Uh uh. I'm, I'm good. Sorry. Five thousand dollars? No. I don't think so at all. He's probably lying about that. Well, I know one thing though. Ashley was trying to help as much as she could. Put your hands. Oh my God! Just go out. I mean, this guy was like two feet taller than her. This is crazy. Go up. Just get the f out. Go on and walk down eight miles on some real. <laughs> get your ass in the car. Open my mother. Like I said, it's man. Like I said. For real. Who's talking to, man? He literally just pushed her. What the hell is wrong with you up in there? This man needs to be stopped for sure. Cause like actually W- What's up people? Welcome back. And get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of questionable moments on hardcore pawn. Number one, online romance. Peter, a man, enters and tries to purchase some jewels. He has a number of watches, a number of rings, and several other items. We'll see whether he strikes it lucky today. Um, I'm here today uh, to see if you would be interested in buying some jewelry. My fiance is in the Ukraine. As you might imagine, coming from Eastern Europe, it's quite expensive, so. Are you originally from there? I was born and raised here. Given that he is here and she is there, I assume she went to Ukraine on business or for some other reason, but I'm not certain. Regardless, it's really kind of him to come see her. That guy is cool. And I was able to meet Lena there. Are you kidding me? Get a mail order bride from the Ukraine. We knew very quickly and we got engaged. And oh, so you've been with her since? Yeah, twice. I can't believe this guy was so open to tell me about his sketchy relationship. Well, um, never thought. After barely 20 days together, this guy genuinely made the decision to marry and live out the rest of his life with this person. It's frightful. I'll do 450. I think I'll pass. Then split it with you. 475. You got a deal. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, Ashley. I think I got a pretty fair deal. I'm gonna go home and buy the ticket to bring Lena here to Detroit. And then I'll bring her down and introduce her to Ashley. Yes, I don't believe introducing her to Ashley will be a very good idea, especially since, to be honest, she refuses to give to Fs. You do you, boo, but be sure you do it somewhere else. Number two, big argument. Number three, Seth's face. A guy approaches the window in an attempt to sell his jewelry. He is requesting $400, which is more than he should be charging, but he doesn't seem to understand anything about it. How much time to sell it for? 400. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get you that much to sell her. How close you talking about coming to? Probably a couple hundred. A couple of hundred? That's 14K right there. It's more like 10K. Hey, sir. What the actual hell did I just hear? No, no, wait. Actually, pause. Was I the only one that heard that? What was the reason behind calling her bitch? Shut the hell up, dude. 200. That's about right. Nah, man. That's 14K right there. It's, worth it's more 10 carat. Look, so, man. yeah. And it seems like you'll know what the f you're talking about. Man, you calling me a liar, man? I'm just saying that you're not being honest. I'm saying if you're feeling that way, man, come on out here and holler at me, man. You first curse at this poor employee as though she had done you a favor or something. You genuinely don't know what ethics are all about. You will learn how to genuinely shut up from Seth and Byron. Hold up, man. Go. Hold up, man. I'm, I'm go telling you, me. I ain't going about it, cop, bro. I'm telling you, man. Thank you, man. Okay. Let me go, bro. What's wrong with you, man? Mm -hmm. Don't put your mother hands on me. What's wrong go, with y'all? Have, go, go, Have a good day, bud. Or what? Have a good day. Or what? Have a good day. what? Go where you gotta go, my man. Have a good day. Thanks, Byron. Yes, sir. It seems like this person has learned his lesson. Like, yes, please. Do you really think that kicking a cone makes a statement? Really, I don't believe that. To be honest, I'm glad you're gone from here. Number four, drunk guy. This man walks in wanting to sell or pawn a ring. It's a freaking gigantic ring. It can fill the whole fist of a toddler. But this man seemed really weird from the get-go. I wonder why. This guy smelled like a brewery. Okay, how much did you want? I'd like 500 for it. Why? Why? Because I need it, and I got some fines, and I need it. Well, if it was gold, I'd give you more than 500, but it's not real. Ope, I really like his sense of self-importance, providing Leslie with some rather foolish responses. You just got it, and we know it's a ring. Oh, God. But it was brass. It had no value. I understand. You have court issues. The problem is, I can't give it to you if you don't got it. You gotta give me something for it. Yeah. I can't give it to you. I'm give it to me anyway. Man, you can give me something for it. I no, no, no. You give me something for it. Just don't feed on the glass. This guy was drunk. Yes, he was drunk. This dude really irritates me. I mean, really. Why would you walk up to the shop intoxicated and attempt to sell your fake ass shit? However, was I the only one who perceived a threat? I ain't leaving here. Man, get away from me. He was screaming like a little child. He lucky my mom wasn't there. He probably would have got his ass whooped. <laughs>
Yes, Joe. He is very fortunate. He is, in fact. He was hauled outside while on the ground, by the way. Right now, this individual truly has no control over his own mind. Thankfully, he is no longer there. Number 5. The Pimp. It looks like this guy has been in line for two hours. Let's just go with the flow. I'm not sure if I should believe him. I'm aware that he is going to cause trouble. He pawned a game system. He said we can give him $110 for it. You know, here's your ticket, just sign it. I ain't gonna sign. I'm not going to worry about it. Sign it, yeah. I'm, I'm done talking to you. What did he tell you he was going to give you? Oh, hell. 400? Yeah. My guys in the front don't mess up. When we quote your price, we quote your price. Oh, sign yeah. that. And I'm not saying if he doesn't sign that crap and close it quickly, this shit is going to explode out in his face as he still acts like he owns the stupid shop. I told you once I don't want to talk to you. Don't I really you talk to you late. I would rather talk Correct. to you this late. Hold on, what you mean? You don't tell me. Okay, with Ted? Listen here, I'm gonna go out front. Get your shit. 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 Get Pimp D, man. Pimp D. Let's go, Pimp D. The guy of the streets is Pimp D. His ladies are on the street. That's precisely where he'll be heading in a few minutes. Never threaten Ashley, either inside her store or out. Man, I'm having my lawyer come up in here. I'm saying my lawyer. I know you just doing your job, big dog, but I drive my BMW, man. I ain't no bullshit. If you was a pimp in the pie shop, well, maybe it's time to upgrade your bitches. Thank you very much. All I asked for was three fifty. We appreciate it. Thank you. Man. Just see how infantile he is acting. Who is pimp? I see no prick at all. Anyway, this individual was truly cast aside and returned to his rightful place, and I'll make sure to welcome him back and eject him if he dares to return. Number 6. Tough Customer A girl approaches the window with the intention of pawning jewelry. However, it appears that she despises waiting completely. It's been seconds after all. For real. Come on, what is she doing? Now she's checking on her <sighs> day. For real, because you know we got to be at but, work in a minute. Excuse me! Mom, my boy, what you doing? Why are we popping? Um, I just gave him my neck. Okay, so she's going to test it, right? How much did you want? 1500 200 How much? 200 200 We now see why her partner is hurrying her so hard. It turns out that he wanted her to be unaware of the necklace's worth. My dude has some junk on display. Oh, get the out of my face, because you want that anyway. Just no. gone. So you talking about 250 Yeah, alone. You'll have 90 I'm days. I'm trying to get my car fed. OK. That's all you could do. Do you have any other jewelry on you? Uh, nuh -uh. I can't. We can't that, man. We can't. Uh-uh, I'm good. Sorry. A million dollars? No, I don't believe that at all. That's probably a lie from him. But one thing is certain. Ashley was making every effort to assist. Put your hands. Go, go, all right, go, go on. on. Just go out. Go on. I mean, this guy was like two feet taller than her. This is crazy. Don't touch him. Just you, go. You can't touch Bitch, some. You gotta walk down eight miles on some real <laughs> Don't lie to me like that. <laughs> you. Tell my face. He really simply gave her a shove. Dude, frick you. Ignore you. How in the world are you feeling up there? There's no doubt that this man must be stopped. Number seven, ring pawn. A man walks in, wanting to pawn his grandma's ring because he wants to pay his rent. But the thing that's heartbreaking about this is that his grandma actually passed away. Check this out. Because this unfortunately is not real. It's not real. What you mean it's not real? It's not real gold. So you saying it? Basically, y'all sit up here and waste my time talking to you. You don't waste your time. If you have a TV, you can pawn your TV. What the f I look like pawning my TV? Do you have a TV? Yeah, I got a TV. Okay. But why would I do that? And why people not? Watch if you need it. money, I'm trying to do whatever I can to help him. Wow. We get it. We really do. Your grandma passed away, but there is no need whatsoever to act like an asshole when you literally have an amazing person trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you solve your like issue. Lower your voice. The next thing I know, this guy snapped. It's Don't your tell voice. me Lower what your to voice. do. Lower Don't your put your voice. finger in Lower my your face. Lower Don't your put your finger in my face. No, you got me. No, you got me. No, let's go. I'll be back, bitch. My man Byron really freaking slammed this guy into the ground. And on that note, he freaking deserves it. Like how dare he put his finger up in Ashley's face. You're talking that now, get the hell out of here. This guy came in, threatened my daughter. He was lucky I have other things on my mind, or I would have beat him to a pulp. Yeah, y'all got me. People come in my face all the time, and people like scream at me. Nobody's ever touched me. Thank God for Byron. Like, I don't know what could have happened to me if like he wasn't next to me. I just have to say that Byron literally saved the day. We all saw how that guy actually had his finger in Ashley's face trying to reach her and even touched her like, what the hell, man? Number eight, death threats. A man enters with the intention of ruining this area, but he ought to pick his words carefully, don't you think? Because all these threats will force him to permanently leave the shop. Yo, look, you're gonna what? You heard what I said. I didn't hear what you said. Tell me what you're gonna do to me. Watch your Get your hand out of my face. Who the you're talking to, mother? 
Oh, Get him with his pants, do when he throws his hand in my face. I don't know if he's gonna hit me or not. I'm gonna show you Kill you, motherfucker! Oh no, it got way out of hand quick. How the hell is that dude wrong? Do you wish to murder them? Your mother is threatening to kill them. If only I could say it. Call the cops. 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 I got it. Hi, I have a threat up here at American Jewelry and Lawn right now. We're all concerned about the safety of my employees and the customers. We are not going to allow anyone to come into our store and threaten our life. Less. This is the proper course of action. The best way, in any case. This dude enters the business and starts threatening it. It makes sense why they had him shackled. Police should not be running late. What happened? He had a pawn that expired. So I was standing behind the counter, and he came up screaming. My security guard came in and started escorting him out. As he was going out is when the incident happened about him threatening, I'm going to kill you. I was mad because I lost all my stuff. I might have did say something to that effect, but it was only venting. Apologized in front of the police. So I decided to let him go. He got very lucky. He was really quite fortunate. If he freaking lost it much more than he already has, his ass might be in jail right now. Indeed, you did lose your possessions. However, murdering someone for that? Low. Number nine, fake Rolex. A man enters and says he purchased a watch from the shop a few days ago. Still, it's not functioning. He knows things are going to become worse for him, which is why he is so furious. Not good. I got a little issue here. What's your issue? I bought this watch from you guys a couple days ago, and it's not working. OK. I hate my money back because it's just, this just isn't right. OK. Do you have your receipt? I do not. How much did you spend? I spent a lot of money on that thing, man. OK, so all that was asked from you is to name a price, and the most decent human being would have done that with no cussing and disrespect whatsoever. Off to a good start. How much did you spend? I spent a few thousand dollars on a Rolex. This is the box that came in? Yeah. Do you have context? No. You can see well, right? I can see very well. What does this say? This is bull****. You guys must have ripped me off somehow. It doesn't say Rolex. That being said, how in the world did he enter here and pretend that this is a Rolex when it most certainly isn't? Is he truly of the opinion that everyone is thus deaf? So come on. I worked your face. You what? I thought I worked your face. Really? How about it? Really? How about it? A lot of people probably don't know. I'm trained in different martial arts. I don't play when it comes to safety. Get out. We do not take threats lightly. Period. Byron put on quite the show for us. That is something I could never have expected in a million years. He gave this guy a full control pushdown, particularly given that he deserves it. I'm impressed. Number 10, dog eating. The main man, one of the two, walks into the room with his dog. It's not a real dog. It's his dog. Don't worry. We should look into it as they desire a bike. I'm not turning it on in here, but if you want, we can take it outside. I don't care to hear if it just putters. Can't allow you to take it anywhere unless you put a deposit down. No, I ain't gonna put no deposit on it. I just wanna ride it up down the road. If I like it, I'll buy the bike. I can tell that this moron is becoming very defensive and ranting. How on earth is he really supposed to think that anything that's going on inside his mind makes sense? Who's this guy? That's my dog. That's your dog? That's my dog. You got a dog that bikes? I got a dog that bikes too. Give him the keys. I give him the keys. I'll take it out. I'll roll it out myself. You take it off the stand? Why? You guess somebody's gonna stop me? Will someone step in to put an end to you? Our man Byron has the ability to drastically alter your life and make you aware of even the worst parts of it. No, it don't Step matter back. where the fuck I'm from, you man. You like stay the fuck out of my face. That's all I can tell you. Straight whose face I'm getting. This your dog, right? You get up have a nice day. Have a nice day. Yeah. My, put some money out here. here. Come on. He had no enough to refer to me as a dog. I guess I had a big bark and a big bite because I pushed both of them out of the door. Smooth like butter. Smooth as butter, to be exact. Byron, my lover, is an expert at hitting the nail on the nail. He actually gave me the finest shove I've ever seen. I meant to work as hard as possible. Hard side. Number 11. Disrespecting Ashley. As he strolls through the store, a man enters and appears to notice something. He refers to it as a sex table, apparently. But he got horned up on the wrong person. Look into this. This is a sex table? <laughs> what? Damn, I'll get some on this mother boy. Hey, somebody gonna help me out with this? What kind of table is this over here? I want Ashley, man. That's my girl. Yeah, I want Ashley, man. That's my bitch. This is a sex table, baby, right? This actually... Get your ass over here and shut up. What the f*** he gonna do? Get off the bed. Get kicked in the face. This man has to stop talking to Ashley immediately before things get out of hand, and he leaves the store in the most embarrassing way imaginable. It's pretty brave of him to believe that he can talk to her like that. Who do you think you are to talk to me like Bro, that? Bro, if he let me, I'll be slapping that ass. He ain't gonna I do can't get over how Look, you... I ain't even looking at this one. Who the f*** you you're talking, talking to, to man? Don't disrespect my daughter in my f***ing chair. Get out, 
her ass, man. I'll tear that up, boy. Tears. How are you, Mama Trucker? Well, you had better be aware of your boundaries because Les won't put up with you at all. You are truly showing his freaking daughter contempt. You don't f with my kid. I'm sorry, man. You don't f with my kid. I'm sorry, Les. I'm sorry, man. Get this f off the property. What's going on out there? Do not go out there. I'd strangle that mother and you would too. What's that ass at? Little small talk, buff, buff. Dude, do you really think this is funny? Do you degrade a man's daughter? How dare you? Not everyone is doubter. He also lacks self-respect. I am going to destroy this man. Number 12, no refund before he even reaches the desk, where Leslie is genuinely waiting in silence for this moron to quit yelling. This guy is already too damn loud. Check this out, man. I'm just turn around and pay for that. What's up with that? 25 bucks, man. Come on. Man, man step your back, man. Step back. Man, come on. You gonna talk to me? Speak in English, just say. You get it? Gas, dumb, sign language, what's up? Hello, we can hear you. We can, really, a man who spoke four languages. And for what purpose? Nothing. Man, what's the matter with you? Describe it. Show me the receipt. I ain't got no receipt, man. Well, how can I give you another unit, another game, if you don't because have Because I bought it from here, man. I bought it right over there. What, am I supposed to carry it with me? Give me my money back now. I can't have that. That's gonna mess up my system, and then you're gonna be buying me a new system and a game. Become confused with your system? Now, I would really screw up your entire system. Use a personal system that is nightmare. He had to go. We're gonna go right here to the I ain't going over there. What do you want? I got Get off me, man! Man, get off me, man! Let's go. Man. Let's go. Man, get off me. I ain't going nowhere. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't like this place. We don't like you either. Man, keep the game. Thank you. Merry Christmas. You got a bad attitude, bro. He wants to be carried everywhere he goes and pampered like a whole animal. You're not improving, but dude, you're out. Power steamer. No, I don't have a power steamer. So, power so, washer. Power washer? It's gonna be right here. How many RPMs? It's a GPM. Can you get a guy to help me? No. Where's your worker? I, I'm a worker, I can help you. You don't know about tools. A guy know exactly what he's talking about, okay, okay? I'm a girl, and it's 27. Okay, well, you don't know nothing, okay? You're just a female. What's up, people? Welcome back. And get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of shocking moments on hardcore pawn. Number one, grandma necklace. A guy walks in the pawn shop to try and sell his grandma's necklace, and he's looking for a certain price that's actually quite impossible for different reasons. Check it out. 2000 Mm-hmm. What do you need the money for? Uh, just a little extra pocket money. It's not real. What you mean is This is not gold. As you can see, the color's coming off. No, 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 no. See, jury cleaner would do just a perfect job on this. Could I look at it? Sure. Let me look at it between your glasses. There you go. He's getting pretty mad, everyone, and I'm honestly not here for it. So let's hope shit does not go south because his ass will be kicked out. But shit is heating up for sure. Yep. What is this piece called? That's, that's the, uh, the uh, magnifying glass. Mm -mm. What is it called? A jeweler's loop. Huh? A jeweler's loop. I don't think so. I beg to differ. You're entitled to your opinion. What, okay. what can you give me? I can't give you any money. You're kidding me. Nope. You're kidding me. Nope. You're kidding me. What about him repeating his question for the millionth time? No, man. Les is not kidding you for sure. You are getting nothing. I'm not leaving out of here with no money, man. Mm -hmm. Give me somebody up, up, else up in there that He's going to help jury. you to find hey, someone. I'm going to talk to you. later. He don't know <laughs> about jewelry, man. No, he knows. Nah, he don't know nothing, dog. Apparently, I know nothing. Call it nothing. Call it knowing. But what's actually funny is that he actually started talking about getting nothing when I told him that previously. Damn, I'm a genius, but thank God he's out. Number two, power steamer. A guy walks into the store looking for a power steamer, and Ashley is the only one there to help him because Seth and Leslie went on a trip to go buy something. Check it out. No, I don't have a power steamer, so, power so, washer. Power washer? It's gonna be right here. How many RPM? It's a GPM. Can you get a guy to help me? No. Where's your worker? I, I'm a worker. I can help you. You don't know about two. A guy know exactly what he's talking about, okay? okay? I'm a girl, and it's 27. Okay, well, you don't know nothing, okay? You're just a female. You're just a female. A dumb female. Wow. This guy is honestly so low for brutally saying that. I think nowadays all the so-called females will hunt you down and stop your misogynistic ass. Okay. What you standing here for? I'm over here with her. She gonna help me. No, she can't help me. I need a guy to help me. Oh, trust me, she can help you. No, she can't help me. Okay, she's stupid female. How's that? Because she don't know what I want. She can't be too stupid. She owns a store. It's time to go, bud. Oh, the security guy's reply just made this guy question everything he said towards Ashley. Because yes, my guy, this is literally one of the owners. 
Okay, we outside. What's okay. going on? Okay, so put your money where your mouth is. Your you want to do anything. My money right here. Last man spanked me was a damn doctor. I'm looking for him. Okay, well, we'll do that then. You have a nice day. I wonder what a girl ever did to him. Seems that a girl broke his heart and broke him in general Ashley. But this security guy is now officially my favorite. He did show him the money, and his reply about the doctor got me cracking. Number three, phone call. This woman doesn't have her ticket, yet she proceeds right to the window believing she pawned her microphone. Furthermore, yet. There's another major issue we have. Look into this. You don't have anything in pawn with us. You've sold the items to us. No, I didn't. We give the customer a buy sheet or we give them a pawn sheet. It is not our responsibility once they leave the window. She didn't look at the piece of paper she had when she walked away, so she didn't know she sold it. That's her fault, not ours. She sold us the merchandise. Now she's back a few weeks later wanting her merchandise back. It doesn't work like that. How could she be so ignorant as to be unaware that she had sold it rather than pawned it? I realize that I'm often in awe of people, but this woman is the height of foolishness. Come with me, no, please. I'm not Ma'am, come with me. This is my chair. You need to get up. You need to get up, ma'am. You need to I'm get up. I'm not getting up. Get up. No. Yeah. Hello. I need you to come up here right now. This woman is about to learn a very hard lesson. She's actually threatening them now. Really? She answered a phone call that she thought would be helpful, but it would be her last. Bull Nobody threatens me without a response. You gonna have to Tell go me what that means. You gonna see when he get up here. Just wait right here with Bring me. Bring him. You gotta go on. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. No problem. I'm not going nowhere. That's where my car at. Damn. Bitch, move. I'd probably be mad too, you know what I'm saying? If I let just wait in the head now, ooh, I'm mad. <laughs> it seems that others have also noticed these eyelashes, don't they? It hurts for me and her eyes to simply look at this stuff. At least she moved on and is no longer dealing with such nonsense. Number four, feet smell. A woman walks up to the window and asks to redeem her coat, probably because she pawned it here and now wants it returned. Let's examine her stunning new coat. Oh, uh-uh, excuse me. Yes, no, this is not how I bought my coat in. How did you bring it oh, in? Oh, no. It smelled like roll, kill, gunk. I bought my coat in smelling like roll. And this smelled like feet, booty. Oh, no. I don't want that. OK. We got to keep my coat with your dog. Cats. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I think I must have sneaked in, picked at my feet, and maybe urinated on it. Who the dumbass is that to do? Exactly none. So that's all that matters to you, my darling. I'll go, I'll go take care of that right Thank now. you, because you ran my blood pressure up in here. Smell it now. Tell me what it smells like now. Oh, Lord Jesus, you're about to make me fall off. She should be an actress for sure. One hell of an actress for that matter. The way she acted like she fainted. I mean, she should star in a Bollywood movie. It's not good. Oh. Well, I like feet in there. No, uh -uh. What Please. we're going to do, and we're going to keep this in the yeah. back. Yeah, you when need you to do something When you decide that your no. nasal passages no. are open. No, code is just pathetic, and I'm going to blackball your bitch. What's the deal, honey? You've just damn almost lost your coat. You're probably acting pretty foolishly right now, and I have to admit it irritates me a lot. Still, I'm relieved you're no longer here. Number five, platinum bracelet. Yes, you read that right. A woman walks in trying to sell a bracelet that she says is exclusive to her, distinct in every manner. So let's look into it to find out if it is or not. This is a one of a kind. My boyfriend took me on an African safari. It's especially made for me. How much are we looking to get today? Well, he paid about $4,000 for it. So I was looking for at least thirty. It's a really cool bracelet. Thank you. Um, but it's not platinum. Oh no. I'm scared now. Like, I'm full-on scared. What's funny about Hardcore Pawn is that they actually never beat around the bush, and they tell it straight to your face. Scary. It's heavy to me. Look. Heavy? Yeah. What does I mean, that mean? Look, you, you, you're never gonna see one like this ever again. And you also said it was onyx? Like onyx. Onyx is a stone. If it was onyx, it, I would see a stone in there. I see that it's painted. Well, what I see is fake. Ashley could take it no more, really. Awful. I can understand her perspective since, in all honesty, I think she has the mindset of a clown. For God's sake, act like a regular person. An app. Ask for Ashley. Ask for Ashley. Get it? See yourself Let me tell you out the door. Girl. Hey, hey. Go touch oh. me, big bully. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. you out. Here, yeah, yeah. Okay. Who are you? My real flight, flight, honest president. Ass. Oh, my God. 
This woman really has the courage to say that. Was I the only one who saw her intense fury at all of that nonsense? But A for ass, that is a rather creative statement. In any case, I'm relieved. She's not here. Number six, computer trade. A man enters wishing to exchange his large laptop for a smaller one. Given that the laptop is ancient, I believe this may be fairly unsafe. So let's see how it works out for him. It's a little bit older. Yes, it's a little bit older, yeah. Do you have a charger? Yes, in the bag. So how much are you looking for? Like $250 to $300. How'd you come up with that price? My friend gave it to me for $125. Your friend gave it to you for $125? And you want to, what, just, just double, saying, triple I'm, your I'm money? Not... Tell you how much I can give you on this, and you're probably looking about 75 bucks. God, this is really strange. Come on, Seth. It's really not that much, buddy. We really need to assist this guy. Well, let's see what else is out there. $75 for, for, for this? <laughs> you can go higher than that, can't you? It's already old. You already know it's old. I That's know it's small. old, but $75? 80 you Gotta go a little bit higher, my I thought you should seek some help, but this man is really starting to irritate me. Honey, I can't take it any longer. The fact that you have to really do that thing really disappoints me. Get your, get back, mother This guy crossed the line. Raise your hand at him again, you're gonna be in big trouble. The hand would you. Here no more. He's gotta go, whether he cooperates or not. You and you. Get your hands off me. I ain't going no mother Thankfully, this man is leaving because, at this point, he genuinely annoyed me. He made a scene and cast as much shade as possible. Number 7. Expensive guys. Two guys walk in the store wanting to buy a couple of TVs and a couple of iPads as well. These two seem way too expensive to even be standing in the pawn shop. No offense to you, Gold family. 16 of them. 3500 3500 man. Hell no. No. 25 piece, my man. 25 what? Five dollars. A piece, man. I bet we have more than $25 a piece in them. How much you have there? Count it up. Count it, man. Can you tell me? Count it up. Man, what's up, man? Did they seriously just put God knows how much $1 on the counter thinking they have the money of the world? How much do they think they will be paying for each item? Nothing higher, bro. Nothing we can't higher. sell you those. I'm sorry. We ain't leaving this mother till we get the deal we want. Here's what I advise you to do. What's that? Put that money in your pocket. Nah, we straight. We want the iPads. You're not getting the iPads because they're not what you want to pay for them. You're not going to get them. We ain't leaving, man. That's what's happening. So if we're gonna work the deal, or y'all going to make something happen? Oh, hell nah. You won't be messing with both Seth and Leslie anymore. Make sure you think twice before we show you how we can be too nice. Shut the hell up, my man. Man, I, hold on, big dog. Don't touch, don't, don't touch my money. We're man. not touching your money. Man, he tripping, man. Now. You want these die pads? Pay the money or leave. Hey, f you, man. Really? Well, how about this? Huh? Yeah, f you. Yeah, yeah, of course not. Here, hold on. Here. Yeah, f don't forget your package. We off, man. Crazy, man. Can't spend no money in this bitch. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Oh, man. Unreal. Thank God these two dumbasses are out. And I'm glad Leslie and Seth managed to do it by themselves, because just so you know, they sent their security home for the day. Number eight, shouting contest. A woman walks up to the glass and claims she's lost her ticket or left it here and wants to go in right now. I don't see you in the system. There is no one in my system with this address. How are you gonna tell me when I left my ticket on the counter? I came here and I pawned the TV. Is I can only tell you what it says in this computer system. Man, listen to me. I've seen the scam before. It never works. Did she have a motive for starting to yell? Seth, if you've already witnessed that scam, you really need to take care of it immediately, or it will come back to bite you in the ass. No, no I, I no, want you to get another keyboard. No, Maybe not that here. Work. That's Look it. Look at your computer and see what the my ticket is. Or call somebody else over to the window. Somebody else coming to the window. Call the blotter. No, thanks. Call the blotter with your little bitty ass. Call him. I want my ticket. Right. Though, wait a minute. Wasn't she acting like a gorilla only a few seconds ago? That was a really smooth maneuver, as though she was going to taste this lovely man. You ain't gotta touch me. If you want all this, it's all Girl, you come on go. now. Go ahead. If you okay, want all right. Here you go. All you gotta do. Come on. <laughs> is that I came here for a ticket. Wow. But you want my number and all that, right? That's what you want? You want all that? Huh? Whatever. Oh. Hey, baby girl. You twerk good. Really? What the heck? The sight of old Byron is already making her horny, and she's starting to grow interested in him. I can't really blame her though. Well, get out of here. Number nine, earring error. A woman comes in to get her pawned earrings. Unlike other folks I've encountered, at least she came prepared with her ID, even though it looks like her ticket was taken. Do you got my ticket? <laughs> do I have it? Yeah, do you got my ticket? No. Just give me my earrings. What type of business is y'all running? Y'all got these convicts up here. Y'all got all this money, and y'all can't make me a copy of my receipt? No, you don't have your receipt, because if you had your receipt, you could have made yourself a copy. Okay, and give me my earring. You got my back to your ear! They got my back, oh, she's okay. a convicted felon! <laughs> 
felon convicted. My laughter was equal to Nikki's. Why does she keep referring to all people as felons and convicts? Your ID was with you, and it was lost. What the devil? Are you wearing her back? Oh, oh, no. You got it's my weird. back on your ear. She the one who took my money last time. I'm not leaving out of here until I get my mother back. It says it on your ticket that you didn't have them when you brought them in. We don't have them. Bring them cars in the back over my no cars up. Bring me my back. Ashley has had enough of this garbage. Actually, all she did was threaten to get into problems for herself by messing with the cars outside. I pray for peace in her soul. You trying to act like a rain Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, by the way, your zipper's down. Oh, by the way, I'm about to up your car. I guarantee you're not, bitch. Get the off that car, you bitch. Give me my earrings. I'm gonna you up. I'm coming back up here for you, bitch. Promise me that? Ah, don't make promises. I make threats, bitch. Rather than offering promises, I intimidate others. That is definitely one heck of a statement. What the hell is going through this stupid woman's head? Heaven forbid. Give up chatting. Number 10. Cab driver. A man who is waiting in line for a loan is storm it in and scream it at. But why is it even the case? I have no idea what's happening. Supposedly the cab driver dropped this guy off here because he wanted to get money for his jewelry to pay the cab driver. Give me $45. We'll call I, have to, I have to pawn this. Bull Oh, I'm out of here. Okay, then you can go. I'm gone. Okay, go. Who the hell are you? I'm Ashley. Ignore Ashley, please. Not a single man. Slave up on you. I've decided that because you will eventually get your money, you should wait for it without becoming irritated. Hey, get your hands off. Get your hands off. Hey, get out. No. Hey, get your hands off. Hey, That's assault. I want out of my car. You're loud. Is this dude even grabbing this woman to get her out of the car and grabbing her arm? What is wrong with that fucking hell? Whoa, this really is an assault. Sounds get in your good. car, go. Yeah. Get, you get, get in your car. Do what I have the best you idea. I will call you a cab. He can be out his money because he's here. demanding it. You guys got a free ride. This is a man who should have departed long before causing a commotion if he couldn't wait for the money. But the two did get a free trip, so they can now unwind in the knowledge that everything will be well. Number 11. Baseball cards. This woman walks in and starts spilling all the juicy details of her f***ing life. Is this the outrageous price she's trying to convince Ashley of? I don't think it will work. Okay. I'm trying to get my baby daddy out of jail, and I've been really trying to work things out with us. I love him dearly. I was his first phone call. You know, so that lets me know that he loves me. Huh? He called me. He ain't called no other chick. He called me. I'm just saying. <sighs> the same, Ashley. The same. You're speaking much too much, even though I know you're only trying to be kind. I mean, did you really think Ashley was pushing you to start dating right away? Okay, I can help you, but not for that much. Yes, for that much. This bag All is right. worth at least a good 4000 by itself. This one's, this one's a good one. You want like 50 bucks? I okay. said. I don't care what you said. Yes, Ashley. Stop her immediately. Speak to her like a bird. She's trying extremely hard, but not really trying to make a point. This woman is definitely mad. All right. Back up, oh, big man. Geez. You want to outlay this, big man? No, oh, no. Your turn. Go. Hey. Yeah. Watch your eyes. Watch yeah. you. No, don't give me no damn hug. Oh, you need a hug. I don't I did not want to witness that at all. More along the lines of, I didn't need to see that. This woman literally just screamed rather loudly and angrily. Though for what? Number 12. Fake teeth. The reason this woman is so irate is because she believes she owns the TV in the front. Let's get this celebration started, honey. This is obviously not yours. Your security, I don't give a Why am I out here on the floor? It's supposed to be in the back. If it's in pawn, it's in the back. If it's for sale, it's in the front. That's bull Hold on, let me get this straight. She pulls out her teeth. A whole heck, these teeth. God, they appeared out of nowhere. I'm enraged at the moment. Old hag, follow me. This is really disgusting. I can't understand. Let's get my right now, Mr. American Loan. This woman was out of her mind. Go to the window, give your pawn ticket. I'll be more than happy to bring out your merchandise. Even more repulsive is the way she inserted them. That's what finally got to me. That crap. Whoa, that woman is very, really disgusting. Well, I'll go get my There we go. Where's that comment? Adios. All right. Tell Hook to take care of you. Boys, Hook, I'm on Hook right now. Hey, Hook, you go. That's your ass. Stop saying. Outside. Okay, thank y'all very much. May the birds of paradise fly up your nose. And that's that. On this one, she really let her imagination go. Emma tells her that the birds of paradise are a good source of fresh teeth, since you're in this place in need of some. 